Good morning from Mission Control Houston and welcome to today's International Space Station Update Hour. Joining us now in the flight control room here in Houston, Texas as the Orbit 2 team is on console monitoring systems on board the orbiting laboratory. Today's team is being led by Flight Director Emily Nelson and joining her will be Capcom Rob Hayhurst serving as the voice connection between controllers here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. And those astronauts right now are the crew of Expedition 30. And they are being led by NASA astronaut and Commander Dan Burbank there in the front left of your screen. And also in the front row joining him is Russian cosmonaut Alag Kononenko. And then along the back row we have Russian cosmonauts Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin, European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers, and NASA astronaut Don Pettit. The crew awoke at about midnight central time today and then got right into some very busy work with a number of experiments and maintenance activities going on today. Starting out, we have Commander Burbank, who began his day doing some of the treadmill kinematics exercises. This is a research study into determining the most beneficial treadmill exercise conditions for these astronauts in order to maintain and improve their crew member health. He's also doing a number of experiment works today with the binary colloidal alloy test, or the BCAT system, which is a very complicated procedure that uses microscopic particles known as colloids as models for studying the fundamental physics of the liquid crystal phase. Meanwhile, Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov did some work today on the immuno experiment, taking blood and saliva samples. This research looks to determine changes in stress and immune responses both during and after a stay for these astronauts on board the International Space Station. He is also doing some unloading work on that Progress 46 spacecraft which docked last Friday. Russian cosmonaut Anatoly Ivanishin assisted on that immuno experiment earlier this morning and is involved in a number of maintenance activities on the Russian segment working on the Russian toilet, the electron system which helps to generate some of the oxygen on board the station, and also doing a window inspection on the piers and Poisk docking modules. The third and final Russian cosmonaut, Oleg Kononenko, is replacing a support panel in Poisk and taking a look and testing out the control panel and piers. And this is all being done in preparation for an upcoming Russian EVA or spacewalk scheduled to take place February 16th that will be with Kononenko and Shikoplerov. European, European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers is working with the Water Resource System doing some transfer work and cleaning it out and also doing some replacement work in one of the human research facilities working on the pulmonary function system. That system hopes to, helps to determine the concentration of different respired gas components and is a ongoing research tool for studying respiratory and cardiovascular measurements. And our final member of Expedition 30, Don Pettit, did a lot of work today with the capillary flow experiments. These are some very interesting fluid experiments that go on in that microgravity environment that help to investigate capillary flows and the flows of different fluids in containers with very complex geometries. And then results from this will help improve models used by designers for low gravity fluid systems and will help improve fluid transfer systems on future spacecrafts.